So it's been up to 10 months since the release of the iPhone 14 Pro and it has also been a hot topic among tech lovers when it comes to smartphones such that it has been made a rival with other phones. There has also been talk about the upcoming iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro all around social media but we're still in the iPhone 14 Pro's time zone so let's see how efficient it is. Welcome to a day in my life with the iPhone 14 Pro. So I woke up with 100% battery life today and I had to check my phone for things like what the weather would be like outside, notifications that I missed while sleeping and of course social media. After spending around 10 minutes browsing through my phone, I finally pushed myself to get ready for the day. Today is one of those days when I try to be as productive as possible with regards to working on my own projects, of which this video is part of. I also have to run a few errands here and there so it's gonna get a bit busy but I think I should be able to manage my day well using productivity apps like Notion on my iPhone 14 Pro. While eating breakfast, I decided to hop back on social media apps like Instagram, Twitter and its new competitor, Thread. I personally think the app has lots of room for development as its features are limited. I don't know, you guys tell me in the comment section down below what do you think about the Thread app. While on social media, I remember I barely have any food at home so I had to make a grocery list for later during the day using this app called Listonic. Yo, what a what a people was good. I uh, we here. We're here with the iPhone 14 Pro day in the life, you know what I'm saying? It's currently almost 10.30 right now, and my iPhone is at 94%. So I've been using it since about like an hour and a half right now. I don't know if that's bad or that's good, but right now I'm also running the iOS 17. So, you know, we're gonna be using that in the day in the live video so we could see how the iPhone 14 Pro runs on the day. Cause I feel like most of the people who make a, uh, a day in the live video with the iPhone 14, Pro, with the iPhone 14 Pros, they usually make them with the iPhone 14 Pro Max and I only got the iPhone 14 Pro so let's see how the phone runs in a day. I got a bunch of stuff that I got to do today as you guys probably see in the previous scenes. I have to work out, I have to plan uh, this video that I'm doing right now which is part of the day. I did a video that I'm trying to upload by this weekend or maybe tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? All the stuff that I need to do is like I got to send in some emails, uh, get groceries, uh, and who knows I might eat outside cuz I really don't be eating outside but yeah we're gonna be doing that me personally I've been using the phone for about six months and you know I've been using it like crazy actually if you see if you've seen my other videos this is actually my my secondary camera I've been using it for my top-down shots and it's been doing pretty great not as good as my my actual camera so in this video we're going to be doing the camera testing the battery test see how it runs in a day and like I said when I, when I started this, I think it was at 90, 94 and it dropped down to 93 just now. Yeah, since I'm going to be outside, I'm also going to be using the 5G network to just, you know, make sure I use this phone to the max. Build it down, let's see how long it's gonna go and most and other, other parts of this video are also going to be shot with this iPhone as well. So let's see, Um, yeah, let's get the day going. Alright, real quick, my iPhone 14 Pro is a 6.1 inch space grey one with 127 gigabytes of storage and that's a 16 bionic chip as you guys probably already know. With 48 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and the 100% focus pixel, I think this phone is very loaded. I'm not a huge fan of the dynamic island, I think it's just for the looks and the proof that this is an iPhone 14 Pro. Of course with a few exceptions like while making phone calls or using navigation. I would like to mention that this phone is a scratch and fingerprint magnet so it definitely needs some protection. Protection. I usually rock it with this case I got from TJ Maxx for its safety because unlike other creators I don't have another phone for a quick replacement. Enough of me talking and let's get this workout in. I, I just got done with some indoor workouts and I'm about to head out for some quick jog. But before that I need these knee braces because I recently sustained a knee injury from playing soccer. Also I like to play some sort of sound while running so I'll be connecting my airpods to listen to something while running. Alright guys so we just got done working out indoors and right now it's currently 11.32 right now and the battery percentage is at 88%. I feel like every time I pick this phone up, it just goes down by one. But before I get this cardio in real quick, let me talk about some specs of the iPhone 14 Pro. 
Alright, so why using this phone outdoors on a bright sunny day? I didn't have any issues with browsing through my phone thanks to the 2000 nits of peak brightness outdoors. Also, you get up to 120Hz refresh rate, so everything runs pretty smooth and the color accuracy is decent. Now, it might sound like I'm giving this phone only good credits, but I'm not even gonna lie. There are times when this phone lags a little bit. Like, I think since when I got the iOS 17, it's been like messing up. The software has been slow sometimes, but throughout today, it's been doing pretty good. So, enough of me talking. I gotta get back into working out i'm going to be using this nike run app usually i use the apple fitness app but this is my first time using the nike app so let's see how good it is honestly i've been spending too much time i'm currently at an 86 percent battery life because i've literally been using the phone all day but let's get this workout in So my cardio lasted for about 11 minutes and I started to feel a little pain on my knee as well. But as you can see, I checked on the Nike app to track my workout and it shows that I ran a little over a mile. And it also showed the route which I found kind of cool. I think I might start to use the app more often. Wait, I'm actually fouling. My running shoes are from Adidas. What? Anyways, let's do some camera testing. Okay, so I just got done working out and by the way, I'm currently recording with the built-in microphone on the iPhone 14 Pro. And I'm sweating right now, to be honest. It's super sunny. Yeah, this is currently at HD 24 FPS. And as you guys could see, I'm not even gonna lie. The camera is pretty clear. And as you guys could see, the front facing camera micro lens is also amazing. If I move closer to myself, yeah, that's pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie. Now, let me switch up the lens. This is at 4K at 30 FPS. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. To be honest, this is pretty good. Uh, I've been using this phone for about like six months now and it's been doing pretty decent. I usually use 4K at 60, but honestly, if you don't want, if you want to save space on your phone, you could still record at 4K 30 FPS and you're pretty much gonna get a very decent video. So yeah, now this is the amazing 4K 60 FPS as you guys could see. And the sun is currently right here, but if I turn all the way here, it has that dynamic range. See, the sun is right behind me right now and I'm still getting a pretty much good video. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is currently the back camera recording at 4K 60 FPS. As you guys probably know, the iPhone 14 Pro can record up to uh, 15 time digital zoom. And if I zoom in, I don't know. It's not that, it's not that much to be honest but yeah and this phone also you can see that micro lens i'm really super close to this camera right now to this flower right now i don't know i don't know what's going on bro why is it blurry bro guys so i just realized something crazy so um if you're recording with the 4k you cannot get the micro you cannot get a micro view of objects. I don't know, very, very close. You gotta go back to HD, cause I tried the 4K at 60 FPS and it wasn't like getting it like when I dropped close and I was very surprised. I got back from workouts at around 12 PM and the iPhone battery dropped down to 70% after using the camera for about 10 minutes. I need to take a shower after my workout, so I decided to do some shower tests with the iPhone 14 Pro. This phone is rated IP68, so if you have some water splash on it, you're not supposed to have problems with it. But for some reason, when I had water dropping on the screen, it had some click effects on it. Also, I noticed the speaker sounded different, so I wouldn't advise you have this phone in the water. Yeah, I do think if they were going to make it that much bigger, they should have added one more. Alright guys, so I just got done taking a shower and... It's currently, it's almost two o'clock right now. And my, current, and my current battery percent is at, uh, just turned to 66 right in front of me right now. But yeah, I gotta send in my employment document to my job cause the previous one I had expired. So I'm gonna tackle that real quick and then we get the day going. Alright, so while I was driving, I noticed that I was running low on gas, so I had to branch at the gas station and of course, you know, I had to use the Apple Pay on my iPhone 14 Pro. As I was about to fill up my tank, I realized I didn't park well, so I had to move my car up front. I don't know, I just think it's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, I branched out a school library to print out a UPS label for this Amazon package that I'm trying to return. And of course, you know I had to come back for my camera. As I was about to print, I realized I haven't even initiated the return. I also figured I don't even have to print the label, I could just go to UPS with a screenshot of the barcode. And yeah, all this is done on the iPhone 14 Pro. Yo, I literally came to this school for no reason bro. I came here to basically print a label and then I realized I could just go to the UPS store and return it. So I basically just came here for no reason. But yeah, I'm just gonna go to the UPS store right now and return what I want to return and then go get my groceries. No, I think I should go get... I don't even know what to do first. Uh, yo, it's almost three o'clock and I have decided that I'm going to get groceries first. It's currently 2.49 right now and my battery percentage is at, is at 51% right now. And it just turned to 51. It was 52 like a second ago and turned to 51 like right away. But yeah, I'm going to go get this grocery real quick. I don't want to carry my camera into Walmart because yeah, it's just Walmart, bro. I don't want... I feel like first of all, it's going to be junky for me to be carrying my camera around and also be getting groceries and secondly i don't want i don't just want to carry my camera inside so that's a great opportunity for me to use my iphone and just film while i grocery shop so let's get it all right so while i was shopping i was having issues finding this one item so i had to use the walmart app on my phone to find the aisle where the item is at I got my wallet in my car. It's crazy. And, and Walmart doesn't use Apple Pay. Excuse me. I forgot my wallet in my car. Can, can I drop this here and go pick it up? Thank you very much. You don't have Apple Pay. Like, it's freaking 2023, bro. By the way, I've been using this phone too long. To be honest, when you're filming this day in the live videos, it takes like triple the time to, do, to get things done, bro. Because like you just like yeah i gotta film this i'm doing this so i gotta film it i gotta set up my camera all that stuff so he's all good all right so after spending almost an hour on getting grocery and filming on the iphone 14 pro i started to get really hungry i branched at this place called pizza barbecue to get some beef shawarma what are you up to? i'm doing i'm doing my youtube vlog really yeah. The guy there was chill but was curious about what I was recording on my camera. Anyways, I made payment with the Apple Pay on my iPhone 14 Pro and I can't wait to start eating because I'm about to die. Hi uh, y'all, I'm just gonna stay here and eat my food, you feel me? Because your boy is hungry. And by the way, my iPhone 14 Pro right now is currently at 40% battery life and it's almost 4 o'clock so it's 3.47 right now. And I, th I feel like it's doing pretty good because like I've been taking videos like when I was in when I was in the grocery store That's all I've been using. But yeah Let me munch this food because I gotta get done with this talking stuff and get back to the day One thing I want to mention though is when I was vlogging the dynamic island on the iPhone 14 Pro You always have to clean that camera whenever you're using the front front facing camera and yeah, by the way, this Sharma right here. <laughs> Alright, so as I tried to finish up with my food, I decided to hop on social media just to make time pass by. So after finishing up with my food, I decided to branch out Best Buy to get a new battery for my camera. Then this happened. So it's funny how. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, that was dope. I also, I just asked and they gave me a permission to vlog in here, so I guess we're cool with it, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking for a camera, so he said like two hours back. Probably ask one of them if they have something. I don't think they have the one that my camera uses. 
These are the ones they have right here. Yeah, I don't. The only thing I'm seeing are these uh, battery chargers. We we have a universal battery charger. In bro, that is crazy, bro. They don't. They don't have. All right, since they don't have the battery for my camera, I decided to look around for some tech products, and then this girl showed up again. <laughs> okay, it's recording. Right What's now. up, guys? We found this dude on the street. Follow him. Yeah. We yep. Did. Follow him. We followed it. Did. You yep. followed it? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, let me find so it. So what's yeah. my no no don't check what's my YouTube about? B E E B. What's it about? Um, I saw your uh, 14 Pro tour, yeah. your iPhone tour. Okay, that's what's up. Don't act like I'm like. Yeah, yeah, I'm real. Not yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you get a discount on Best Buy? You no, should have a code somewhere. Yet. You're kidding. Not yet. I'm oh, still okay. growing. Yeah. How many followers you got? With you guys, maybe 213. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Will. All right, thank you very we'll much. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, also, every time I step into places like Best Buy, it's just like I don't want to leave. So my camera battery eventually died and I started vlogging with my iPhone 14 Pro. So I came to this park to take pictures and of course, you know, I had to skateboard a little bit. Also, on my way here, I took some selfies with the iPhone 14 Pro. I also took some pictures in the park which are raw and they turned out pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, chill. so right now, it's currently 4.56 right now and my battery percentage is at 25%. And I've been using this phone basically all day. Gotta grab my skateboard real quick. Yeah, I just feel like I've been having fun all day to be honest. But yeah, I think the phone is pretty much handling the whole thing. If you're looking to get into content creation and stuff, or basically just productive and everything, I think this phone can handle all that, like literally everything. Right now, I don't know how the audio is doing, but I'm currently recording with the AirPods Pro. I think that's what's gonna be recording the audio. Yeah, I gotta go home and get productive to be honest. I just feel like I've been, pr I've been playing all day. I'm also going to give you guys nice shots, so don't worry. But my current battery is at 25%. I don't, th I don't know if it's going to hold up till then, but let's go home and see what I want. Let's get it. Alright chill, so I got home at around 5.40 p.m. with my battery at 15%. By the way, I was on a video call while I was driving, so I guess that's why I lose 10%. So after putting my groceries away and charging my camera, I decided to edit a video and this scene was also recorded on my iPhone 14 Pro. Alright chill, so I've been home for about an hour now and... My phone is currently at 4% at 6.49 p.m. I feel like the screen on time shouldn't have been more than 4 hours because like I basically just used it to like take videos and I was using 5G outside by the way when I was using the internet and checking Instagram and stuff. Technically I've used like 26% of camera which is actually crazy and I've been on social media especially Instagram and yeah, I've just been like using so many things. I don't know if that's good. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Do you think I overuse this phone all day or that's just, it's just too bad for a phone. And this is just the iPhone 14 Pro by the way. This is not the Pro Max, but still it's a Pro model, which means it does most of the things that iPhone 14 Pro does. And I chill, 1% of battery life currently 731 right now i feel like the phone was holding good to be honest i'm not even gonna lie so right now i'm gonna charge it for a little bit and then we're gonna head outside all right so after charging my phone for some time i decided to head downtown my city to take some night pictures and also test the action mode all right chill so it's currently 9 11 right now and i already boost up my phone like a little bit you know what i'm saying but we outside right now to take the videos the night shots and stuff but the funny thing is i didn't bring like a holder for my phone that i could hook up to my tripod so that's what i'm struggling with right now and i hope i'm able to find a place to place my phone on it's a good thing that my phone is the iphone 14 which could vertically stand on a smooth ground so hopefully i'm able to find a place to take the shots tonight because I'm already getting tired and I'm trying to sleep as well and I've only eaten twice today so let's get it so I eventually found a place that I think might serve as a tripod so I was able to take some cool pictures and look at me right now chilling like a villain 
The pictures I took were mostly in raw format and I think they came out pretty good. But it's up to you guys to tell me in the comment section down below if these are good pictures. I'm currently shooting at the cinematic mode at 4k 30 fps just so you know you cannot shoot at 4k 60 fps with cinematic mode um I just wanted to point that out chill this is currently the action mode that's on the iPhone 14 Pro but you could only shoot on this with 2.8k at 24 fps but as you guys can see I'm currently running right now I'm running backwards and I'm running forward right now I'm shaking so much, like my hand is actually shaking and as you guys could hear from my footstep probably, I'm actually running right now. I'm not running at full speed but yeah, that's what you get on the action mode on the iPhone 14 Pro. Alright guys, so right now, I just wanted to put this there real quick. This is night time and by the way, there's so much light in this area as you guys can see. There's so much street light but yeah, this is, I don't remember what I'm recording with. But I believe this should be um, 4K at 60 FPS with the front facing camera. I think if you have like a pretty solid light, you should be you should be good to be honest. Cause I'm looking fresh right now, I ain't even gonna lie. But yeah, this is probably gonna be my last shot for the video guys. Cause I just found my car and I'm about to just go home and get something. So I don't know, this thing right here, see this thing right here, this thing, this thing, this thing right here. I don't know why it always does that, bro. It just messes up the entire video or your picture. I think if you take pictures as well, you get that problem too. So I don't know if they could fix that, probably that would be great. But I heard like in other phones, like maybe the Google Pixel or the um, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, you don't get that when you're taking videos or pictures. So yeah. I just thought I should point that out. I really don't know because I don't have these these phones, but that's what I've heard from other YouTubers like when I watch their videos. And yeah, let's go home and get some sleep. So in general, I think the iPhone 14 Pro is a pretty good phone. It's been holding up well for the past six months for me. By the way, my current battery health is still at 100%. In terms of performance, I barely have any problems with it, with the exception of when I'm editing large file videos on apps like CapCut, which I think is pretty normal. Other than that, I don't have problems with using everyday apps like Instagram, Twitter, and other social medias. If you made it this far to the video, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, see you guys on the next one.